bandwidth limiting or rate limiting with Minimaxwell. Consider a network emulation in your lab where you want to limit some of the traffic to no more than 100 kilobits per second. Suppose the traffic you want to limit is the UDP traffic. So you want Minimaxwell to slow down the traffic for UDP but allow the rest of the network traffic to flow through unaffected. Our overall strategy will be to take the incoming traffic, classify it into multiple streams based on protocol type, and then apply the rate limit to the UDP flow. Now let's begin. We will go to the filter map screen. Mini Maxwell's predefined filters are shown on the left side of the screen. We will select the one named UDP. We will classify the UDP traffic into band number 4 in both directions and classify all other traffic into band number 5. Any traffic that you do not explicitly classify automatically goes into band number 5. The effect of this is that all UDP packets flowing through Minimaxwell will be handled according to the impairment instructions we will specify for band number 4. All non-UDP traffic will be handled according to the impairment instructions we will specify for band number 5. We then click on the submit button. And we can see that our configuration was successfully processed. Now we will go to the bands and impairment screen. Note that there are two columns. The left side represents traffic flowing in one direction, the right side represents traffic flowing in the other direction. Note that the last item on this screen is called rate limit. We will impose a rate limit of 100,000 bits per second on the UDP traffic. Remember that we previously set our filters to classify all UDP traffic into band number 4. Now we will select the tab for band number 4. And now we will enter the 100,000 number into both the left and right side rate limit box. Then click on the Submit button. And once again, the configuration succeeded. Congratulations! You have now limited your UDP traffic to 100,000 bits per second in each direction. All other traffic is not affected. Now you can see how your application responds in a limited bandwidth scenario. It's that easy.